Hello and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now, today you all, we have got to drive home the point of men of substance, good men, quality men are not, I repeat, are not coming to save these females. So many of these young ladies out here make the terrible mistake of thinking that it'll be different for them. Oh, I'll be able to have this no good male's baby and change him. I'll be able to screw up my life and still have my pick of good quality men to choose from. No. I don't know if you all are just blind, deaf, or dumb, but it's a new day and age. The cleanup men, the stepdaddies, the Captain Saber 304s, gone. Nowhere to be found. They are not in abundance how they used to be. It's over. So when y'all are out here thinking that you will be the exception, that nothing bad will happen to you and you can mess up your life and still have somebody to come through and secure you, clean you up, polish you up and put you up nicely. Yeah, no, not happening. Y'all have got to put that dream to bed. It's dead. You all, I came across this video right here, right? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And it really made me just want to go ahead and drive it home even further as far as, ladies, we got to pick better. We got to choose better. We can no longer be out here saying, oh, it's just that all men ain't ish and all men are trash. Or thinking that once again, you'll be the exception to the rule. That's not happening. Y'all got to stop this. Stop thinking that you can change a deadbeat male, not a man, into being a man, into being a stand-up father, into marrying you, into being with you. You can't make any man be with you. A baby won't change him. Trying to do all the right things that you should be doing for a quality man of substance won't change him. No. So thinking that, hey, yeah, I can lay down with this guy because, you know, he's cute and he got swag and he makes me feel a particular way or, you know, he's sexy and he's tall and I like his car but he's not about anything. Stop choosing men based upon those superficial surface level qualities. Because if you just so happen to mess your life up, procreate with that male, you got to know these real quality men of substance out here not coming to your rescue. Let me take it here for a second before I share my screen and well, I already got it shared, but before I start playing the video. The sisterhood that hypes y'all up and gives y'all a million and five excuses as to why you are not conducting yourself properly, why you are making such terrible mistakes. Guess what? As much caping as they do for y'all, as many excuses as they give to y'all, I need y'all to understand that they too, ma'am, are not going to be there to save you. They're not going to be there to pay your bills, babysit for you, pay for daycare, 
love you, support you, they're not going to be there for you. So while y'all are listening to them, be careful. Because a lot of them are in terrible situations and they were only looking for company because misery loves that. So that's why they were hyping you up so much. That's why they were going so hard for you. They wanted a friend. Because guess what? It's lonely. When you don't choose proper men to be with, to procreate with, hold on. You end up in very compromising positions. You end up struggling a lot harder. So be careful because you could end up like this young lady that you see on my screen. I'm pretty sure she had thought that she would be the exception. It wouldn't happen to her. Because after all, the sisterhood told me that I'm a boss. The sisterhood told me that I'm a strong woman. I'm cute. And so I'll always have a large selection of men to choose from that will help me out and take care of me and provide for me and protect me and put me up nice. No. It's a new day and age, baby. These men are not the same men. They've evolved. They put an end to the nonsense, the time wasting. The Captain Saber 304 done the cleanup man done the step daddies done <laughs> lord it's a new world we keep choosing men to lay down with and procreate with based upon very superficial very surface level things these men i'm sorry these males cannot even take care of them damn selves but once again, you thought you would be the exception. Y'all like the video. That's something. But hold on, let's take it back a little bit. I want to read what it says. It says, a mother gets emotional as she vents about how much she hates being a mom. It says in quotations, I don't want to be responsible for this tiny human, but it's too late. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm so tired of young ladies realizing that life is real and that you are responsible for not only yourselves, but the people that you bring into this world. I'm tired of y'all realizing that when it is too late and the damage is already done. That's something. I love my kid. I fucking hate being a mom. I fucking hate being a parent. Like I fucking hate it. And I feel bad for saying that, but like I wish I wish someone would have let people with BPD know that like we really shouldn't be moms. Like having a kid is too fucking complicated and i don't want to do it like i don't want to be responsible for this tiny human i just want to be responsible for myself and it's too late now and i didn't know parenthood was going to be like this i didn't know i was going to be doing it all by myself with no support system no family no anything i didn't know if i would have known i would have never done it i would have never known it. let's play it again let this be a cautionary tale to a lot of you females out there. What makes this so tragic is I can bet that this young lady had a lot of guys out there that were of quality, morals, substance, values that would have made great fathers. But for whatever reason, she turned them down. And so many other young ladies turned men down that are of quality, that would make great fathers, that would commit to you, that would stand by your side, that would help you. No mother should have to go through this. If the man that you laid down with and you procreated with is still alive and breathing 
and well, there's no way a mother should have to mother her child alone. If there's no way a mother should have to be out here struggling, crying, breaking down because she has to take care of a child by herself that she did not make by herself. But when it comes to a lot of y'all females, this is what y'all signed up for willingly, knowingly. But you thought you would be the exception. You thought you can change him. Y'all be knowing damn well the males that y'all are laying down with are not ish. They're trash. Y'all know that. But you go along with it anyway. Then when you have to be hit with the rude reality check of, damn, uh, that didn't work. Now you want to break down and cry. Now you want to look around for the real authentic men, the good men. What a good men at? What a real men at? They were right there. But did you want them though? Did you want the good men? Did you want the men that would make great fathers? Let's play it again. Y'all like the video. Try something. I love my kid. I fucking hate being a mom. I fucking hate being a parent. Like, I fucking hate it. And I feel bad for saying that, but, like, I wish I wish someone would have let people with BPD know that, like, we really shouldn't be moms. Like, no. There's nothing wrong with being a parent. There's nothing wrong with being a mom. You just have to have the right person that you are being a parent and a mom with. That's the issue. You should have the proper help and support system around you. Your child deserves that as well. <laughs> Having a kid is too fucking complicated. I don't want to do it. Like I don't want to be responsible for this tiny human. I just want to be responsible for myself and it's too late though. It's too late. Too late. And y'all know what makes it even worse? Is that she is going to be looking for somebody that is not only going to be responsible for her, but also her child. That's what makes this so much worse. Is that now she has placed not only herself, but also her child in a position to where they're going to always be on the decline. Searching for the next person's help. Searching for the next handout, playing catch up. You know? That's terrible. And a lot of guys, they're just not going to want to sign up for it. They're just not going to want to be a part of a situation to where I'm going to be responsible for taking care of this woman, taking care of a, a child that's not mine. And also, look at the state that she's in. And also, being responsible for making sure that I am being of mental support, emotional support. That's a lot because this woman is obviously and clearly damaged. So that's a hell of a lot of responsibility that a man would have to add on to his plate if he did decide to sign up to be a part of this. But again, newsflash, ladies, men are not signing up today. They're not. And that is not to be harsh. That is not to make you feel even worse. That's just to, again, serve as a cautionary tale to the other young ladies coming up behind us that, hey, don't take this route. If you know that you're not mentally ready, emotionally ready to have a child, don't lay down unprotected. If you know that this guy that you're with is not mentally ready, emotionally ready, financially ready to be responsible, to take on the responsibility of having a family, providing for a family, raising a child, don't lay down with him. Stop thinking it won't happen to you. Stop expecting for there to always be a backup man and a backup plan. It ain't happening. It's a new day and age. And the 
faster y'all realize this, the better off you'll be. The better choices that you'll make. But it's too many of y'all out here listening to not only these no good females out here that's telling y'all, ah, you perfect. These men ain't ish. It ain't your fault. And enabling y'all. But y'all are also living in delusion within yourself. To where you honestly feel like, oh no, this won't happen to me. Why? Because I'm better than them. No, you're just like them. My sex is better. I look better. When has that ever mattered? If a male is not ish, it don't matter how good you look, how bomb the sex is, how good you treat him. I need y'all to realize that as well. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I need y'all young ladies to also realize that it's the type of males that y'all like. It absolutely is. It's the type. It's not that all men are trash and are terrible fathers. It's the males that y'all love to entertain. Because once again, you feel like you can be the exception. You feel like you can change him and you don't. And you won't. You can't make a man do anything he doesn't want to do for himself. A baby won't change him. Doing all of the quote unquote right things that you should be doing for a quality man, a good man, won't change him. Good sex won't change him. Mm -mm. And y'all don't realize that or find that out until the damage is already done. I didn't know parenthood was going to be like this. I didn't know I was going to be doing it all by myself. No yes, you did. Yes, you did. Here's the thing. A lot of the times, these females know exactly what they're signing up for. They just feel like they can get away with it. Let's be honest. You felt like, oh, I would have this man. I'm sorry, this male. I got to keep correcting myself. I will have this male that I know is trash to change once I give him a baby. Once I do X, Y, and Z, once I, you just fill in any blank. A lot of these females are so delusional and so egotistical that they really feel like they will be the exception and it doesn't work. So I don't want to hear that. Oh, I never even thought and I never imagined and I just didn't think. Yes, you did. I didn't know. Yes, you did. A lot of us make these quote unquote mistakes consciously. So is it even really a mistake if you did it on purpose? Again, let this serve as a cautionary tale. It can and it will happen to you. And guess what? It's going to be all on you. All on you, ma'am. Because again, the men that you really need to be with don't want to be with you. Men that have a lot going on, they just see women like this as a liability. Ladies, do y'all want to be a, a liability? Do you seriously want to be a part of an equation to where you're constantly having to play catch up? I hope not. I hope you don't want to spend the rest of your life playing catch up, begging and waiting for the next man to come along and save you. I hope that's not what you're trying to do with your life. But that will be the result if you keep on doing this type of behavior. And like I said, a lot of y'all already know what's up. You just feel like it won't happen to you. The men ain't playing these days, ladies. Ain't no more coming through to save you. Too many of y'all will be out here regretting the fact that you did not choose the proper men to lay down with. No support system, no family, no anything. I didn't know if I would have known, I would have never done it. I would have never known. And like I said, y'all do be knowing. But I want y'all to know this. Men today, mm, checked out.
moving on, passing you right on up. You and your baby. I'm sorry. No hard feelings toward the child or anything of that sort. But hey, yeah, no, it's a no for me, dog. And if you don't believe me, let's just take a poll, shall we? Y'all already know when it comes to my platform, I got a lot of my brothers that rock with me heavy. So we'll just ask them directly. Fellas, put a one in the chat if you are present day signing up to be a stepdaddy and a Captain Saver 304. Put a one. Put a one in the chat if you are ready and willing to sign up to be a part of that type of dynamic. Let me know. Put a two in the chat if it is a hell no for you, dog. And I guarantee you, we see a bunch of twos because men ain't doing it, ladies. They're not. Trust me. I talk to my brothers daily. They hit me up daily. Let me know what the what's up is. And they're not doing it. Again, it's a new day and age. A lot of y'all females will regret not picking a good man. A lot of y'all females will be out here waiting in vain for a man to come and save you and your child. It's not happening. A lot of men today are like, nah, go back to that guy that you lay down with, that you made this baby with and see what he can do for you. But no, I'm not taking on the additional responsibility of you know a child or of the mistakes that i didn't contribute to no i'm not cleaning that up and i'll be down if i allow a female to come into my life and bring me down with her or slow me down no not doing it are there exceptions sure but for the majority of the part i guarantee you a bunch of my brothers are like no nah, i'm not doing it and the reason why I know this is because they tell me. I already know. Just like how a lot of y'all already know, you just felt like it wouldn't happen to you. You just felt like you would be so fine and so sexy that any man that you want would be at the end of the tunnel waiting around for you and your child that is not his and your debt that he got to pay off. No, it's not. No, no, no. Sorry. And then what makes it so bad is a lot of these females want to complain and say, ah, these men ain't no men no more. Yes, they are. They're more of a man, if you ask me. Because they have now realized their worth and their value and they're not playing with it. Now they have boundaries. Hold on. If that's not a man, I don't know what is. Somebody that has boundaries. Somebody that has standards. Yeah. So, ladies, I need y'all to not do this. When are y'all going to learn? Why do y'all keep having to learn when it's too late? Why do y'all keep having to learn when you're already smack dab in the middle of the struggle no stop doing this it's real out here and it's only going to get realer i'm gonna wrap this up you all but i had to come on here and share this with you to you know just showcase to these young ladies out here it's not a game men are not coming to save you and we have got to choose better men Stop making this mistake. Stop thinking that, oh, no, it's just that all men ain't ish. No, it's the men that you like. Y'all got to type. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.